How's it going, guys? And welcome back to BLV's Forgotten, the series where I take a look at unused and not often talked about pieces of gear to determine whether or not they deserve to be remembered within the modern meta of the game or should be left behind and forgotten. And today we are taking a look at the Sleeping Giant. If you'd like to farm the Sleeping Giant for yourself, you're going to fast travel over to Lectra City on Promethea and make your way towards the back and into this little corner where you can find a save station. From there, you're going to follow the road down along this ramp and jumping down into the subway system, following along until you find this tunnel that leads into a room with a bunch of levers. Hit the lever twice and then rotate the wheel and one punch will spawn out of the door. Kill him and you can get yourself the Sleeping Giant. The Sleeping Giant is a legendary doll SMG able to roll as non-elemental, incendiary, shock, or corrosive, and can have one or two projectiles per shot for one to two ammo cost per shot respectively. Around one to two seconds after reloading the Sleeping Giant, the next magazine will receive zero to six buffs. These possible buffs are an additional projectile, 160% additive gun damage, 90% fire rate, increased reload speed, increased accuracy, or increased handling. These buffs are lost every time the weapon is reloaded or swapped, and there is a 33% chance to get all these buffs at once. The Sleeping Giant has received a single buff, but it was a pretty big one, being a doubling of the mag size, adding the possibility that reloading has that 33% chance to reward all the buffs, and increasing the weapon damage bonus from 120% to the 160 that it currently is. Now getting into it here, I want to just point out that I really fucking love these buffs. Buffing the actual effect of the weapon, the part that makes it special and makes it fun and desirable to use, is always going to be better than just giving the weapon a raw damage buff. A huge amount of the meta weapons are just meta because they do really good damage on top of having some gimmick to them. But having weapons that are strong not because of their base stats, but because whatever it is that they do, is really nice. And I really wish that when weapons were being buffed, this is what was more focused on, buffing up what was unique about the weapon rather than just over buffing damage. Not that the base damage of weapons should have just never been buffed, some weapons literally don't really have anything else that could have been buffed aside from their damage, and some weapons that do have gimmicks did still need a little boost up in their damage, but there was definitely a lot more room to have a lot of changes like what the Sleeping Giant got, but a vast majority of buffs were just base damage. But now that I've spent an entire minute talking about why I like the buff, let's actually get into the gun itself. And we'll start out here with times one versus times two. My assumption here was that times two would just be worse overall as you chew through magazines faster, meaning you'd re-roll and re-roll your buff sooner, but honestly, I think I preferred it. It definitely chewed through your ammo faster and forced more reloads, but the gun itself just had a better base damage and felt a bit less reliant on rolling those good buffs. Times two was overall more consistent, but for a higher cost, with times one being able to hold on to strong buff rolls for longer, but being weaker without those rolls. Times one is better to get the most out of your RNG, while times two is best to not have to worry about that RNG too much. With that being said, for all other footage for this video beyond this point, I will be using a times one as it better shows the effect of the weapon, but I do believe they both have their place. That being said though, personally, I'm also not a huge fan of the RNG mechanic, which is kind of why I definitely prefer times two myself. I don't mind RNG, I mean I just did a video on the craps, but the sleeping giant feels a bit too random and too reliant on that effect. Not only that, there's also just not any feedback to what you're rolling, so not only is it RNG, it's a guessing game of what you even got half the time. The Lucky 7 is a very similar mechanic where you're constantly re-rolling different bonuses. The Lucky 7 though, on reload, has a unique animation to it to tell you what effects that you rolled and what your next magazine is going to do. With the Sleeping Giant, you reload, wait two seconds, and then hope that you got something good, and even while you're firing, Generally, the only time I could really tell exactly what I rolled was with the fire rate just because that was so noticeable. Even then though, the only thing I would really consistently notice was the fire rate, which means I could have rolled just the fire rate, I could have rolled the fire rate and any other number of things, or I could have rolled everything, but still the only thing that I knew for sure that I would roll is the fire rate. And while it doesn't really matter too too much, it is nice to know when you roll something good, especially just because this thing has a massive synergy with mag size and ammo and specifically with that, I would like to
to mention Amara Stole Dread because it felt really good with that. But with enough investment into mag size and ammo regen, you could sustain the Sleeping Giant and therefore keep your buffs indefinitely. Again, very similar to the Lucky 7 in this sense where you can roll your wanted rolls and just stick with them, but again, it can be very difficult to tell if you got everything. But there's one final, even bigger issue with the Sleeping Giant. There's a doll SMG that has over three times its damage and over double its fire rate. And on top of that, there's nothing RNG about it, and even though it has those crazy stats, it still has a unique effect of its own. And it's the Torrent. The Torrent kind of gives you everything that you could possibly get out of the Sleeping Giant, except it gives it to you without the bullshit. More damage, more fire rate, better gimmick. It's just better in every single possible way. I don't think the Sleeping Giant is bad, I think it's just very difficult to justify it in its current state. It has an interesting gimmick to it, I don't personally enjoy how random it is, but honestly, it was good and it was a solid option up until the Torrent existed. It's not that the Torrent is like directly a power crept version of the sleeping giant it's just a damage crept gun that fills that same niche of being a fast fire rate doll smg for the sleeping giant to compete I think its effect just needs to be buffed again. Very similar to the other buff that it got, it just needs to have higher numbers when you roll them. And honestly, with how good the Torrent is, maybe a little bit higher base damage as well. But as it stands right now, the Sleeping Giant is just kind of in this state of being a very solid weapon. It is genuinely a good gun. It held up across all the content in the game. Both the Times 1 and Times 2 variants have their place in builds, but it's just very hard to justify over the Torrent. But that's gonna about do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you you did definitely consider leaving a like comment subscribe all of that i'll be live right after this video goes up right here on youtube and also over on my twitch channel where there will be a link to down in the description below and just under that is a link to my discord server where you can come and join and hang out but with that all being said i hope to see you guys in the next one